these are the drawings for the jump cycle the progressive jump where the character is changing its place and not jumping in the same place key number one and key number seven are the same key number two and key number six are the same the only thing is these three keys where the body takes off from the air hangs on the air and then gets down so this is the first pose but we will be doing certain changes here our feet are never parallel to each other the fingers they never remain 100 percent straight so we'll select the fingers and we'll go to the curl first key is done just take some five more frames in the beginning and make it static then from five to ten we will come to pose number two it's a nice curve all over the body will be always having its eye on the destination so here we will turn it back the entire body curve is fine but here somewhere the body is becoming straight rotate the hip in the opposite direction to get a nice curve in the body when the body will be bending forward the translation will be backward just to keep a body balance to have a proper fist we will select both of these controllers the curl values were earlier different but now we'll make it to 10 thumb finger will make the entire value 0 Now, as you know, since both the arms are the back, maximum back, so it's always better to adjust the shoulders. Let's consider this as the second pose. Pose number one and pose number two is done. And we can also see that there is a striking similarity between these two poses and these two poses. And as we know that the body is not jumping in the same place, but the body is changing its position from one to the other. So keeping in mind, we will follow one simple procedure. We will keep this pose for five more frames. I'll show you why we have taken this one. It is just to create more pressure on this pose so that he can take off. Since the same pose we will be there, but on a different frame and on a different position, we will select this two feet, two hands, the pelvis, the leg pole vector and the hand pole vector. Press W and then take the world. So what happens, let's take as uh, 30 frames, let's make the entire jump to be of uh, 15 frames and move it forward. You see how it is moving, these two are going far apart, so let's move it a bit back. So you see guys, the body is standing, it's bending, hold it and you see the entire body is being moved forward in a different position. Let's keep this from 30 to 35. 1 and 2 are done. Fre uh, pose number 6 is also done. And 7 is just getting up. So 35 to 40 what we will do is. This is the place from where the body take up. And this is where it comes down. So again, we will be following the principle of the bouncing ball. From 15 to 30, the character should go up and fall down. Pelvis is the determinant factor. So from 15 to 30, 15 frames. So let's take in consideration that the body will go up maximum in 24 frames. So it's a 9 and 6 proportion ratio going on break tangent this for the bouncing ball we will make it this will enable us to understand as to exactly where our body will be taking these poses now check out key number three or pose number three where the body has just left the ground till 15 it will exert exert the pressure and then from here it goes up and lands let's take two more frames and see what pose is it creating here we'll just go to 17 now you see here one feet of the character 
is on the ground and the other feet is on the air. The body is more or less bent but the focus is again forward. The technique that we need to adopt is we will adjust the pelvis till we see that the right leg or anyone the left leg is touching the ground. One feet you can see that it is already up. Let's make the left feet to be up and we will take up the heel. I mean the roll ball is option is there and we will take down the pelvis to that extent where the feet is just touching the ground. Similarly if you see translation Z in this translation Z also we need to make the key. Check out what I'm doing. We'll just make it linear. So you see the pose which we were attempting, we were trying, it's already there. Just a little bit of more adjustment needs to be done. Translation Y, make it little bit more down. The head needs to be focused forward. The hands, as you can see, they are forward just to create more thrust. Here we also need to adjust the shoulders a little bit more. So the second pose is done. Now there's one thing we have missed out. The feet, this feet will not be changing its position but it is changing. So let's keep it in the same place. Pose number three is done. The way the body was tilted here, the same way the body is being tilted in a reverse direction. The body is being tilted. So it's expected that when the body will be landing, the body will be landing here, not in 30. Because just two frames earlier to 30, the body of course will be having a back tilt. So it's like this. It goes up from here. This is the hang time and here it lands. So two frames earlier, we will again set a key. We'll try to make something like pose number five. Go to the graph editor, translation Y, and then start making down to that extent where feet does, is just touching the ground. The entire body, if you see, is back bent. He lands and then again regains himself. So now the last pose which is being left out is pose number four, which is on the air. This is the hand which I have made. You want, you can make something different also. You can keep it like this. I'm making it something different compared to what I have given you. You can try it out, this one also. Or you can even take a huge leap and check for yourself as to how things can be. So goes up, goes here. In fact, here what I can do is, as I've told you, instead of making it look blank forward, it can focus its head down. And that gives a more determined look and a logical look because he knows where to land. Here, check this out, the figure five. I would rather prefer it to keep it down. That is from 5 to 10 the body went down. From 10 to 15 the body is a perfect static. Delete here frame number 10. Go to 13 middle click. Take the same key and paste it here. So what happens? You see here uh, earlier this part was static. Now this part has a little moving hole. Similarly in 30 the body is coming here and then from 30 to 35 we know that it's perfectly static. You see here it happens. Check the feet. Copy the same key of 35, paste it in 30. You see here. Also what you can do for more refinement. Don't keep the two hands in the same place just to break the symmetry. Similarly here also. 
one might be little bit up and another might be little bit down now there are certain refinements which we can do here just to get a level up of the thing from frame number 1 to 5 the body is 100% static now see when the body from 5 to 10 is going down so what we can do is in the first frame we can just make the body little bit down or a little bit uh, forward just to see here let the chest go up a little bit both the hands come a bit forward a little bit of different rotation or maybe one hand can go a little bit back just to break the symmetry from here also it comes and then what happens everything is so static so what we'll do is from 40 to 45 we'll just make a key of course there's no movement now here we can see from 30 to 40 the body is just settling so what we'll do here is just take it a little bit up a bit move forward one hand a bit forward other a bit backward whatever okay and then this body is going up and then here what you do is just settle down a bit it is having a more organic feel one thing which can happen here sometimes it will form like this so if it happens do not get panicked just adjust the pole vector just try playing with the frames wherever you feel and get your own style your own timing in this frame the controller of the leg got detached the arms some sort of twisting happening adjust it take it a little bit more up there's a problem the feet the controller should not leave the feet this is also an issue check out this one also while you settle while it is doing like this you can just shift it a little bit just to give an organic feel see this feet shift is giving an organic feel if you want to make it jump in the same place then what do you do here it is progressive it is changing the position you see guys see till 15 it was fine from 15 if you see it started flowing forward it went forward and then took the body also forward so if this forward thing can be stopped I think the character can jump in its own place so come delete it see what happens yes see the legs and all these things are going forward of course but if you see the body is in the same place so what we will do translation Z and translation Z for these feet delete it now the body is jumping in the same place hands going forward the translation needs to be changed the rotation I feel is perfect so till 15 I'm keeping these keys and take this up and then again take these down so everything is intact it's only earlier the jump was a bit progressive and now the jump is in the same place it's not necessary translation Z just check your rig and see which is the determinant factor that moves the body forward so that particular factor if you can nullify then I suppose you can manipulate with your jump and play with it one character moves from one place to the other and the other goes up and same down so it does not change its position